Hey everybody, D Dog, Dave Rob for Dynamic Rainmakers. Friday, July 29th, 72 degrees, getting ready to rain yet again. This whole week has been nothing but rain, rain, rain. Uh, been pretty bad. We need the, the moisture, but not this much. <laughs> uh, tonight, wrapping up the week and basically a month of July. Uh, 12 samples, 12 or 12 pickups tonight. Found some leads on some cargo vans. Uh, hopefully, be able to take a look at a couple of them this weekend. I don't know. Uh, this this is uh, kind of a weird market right now. Uh, a lot of the older vans are coming out, but they have such high mileage on them. I don't know if they're going to be worth getting or not. Uh, found a potential. Uh, carrier to sign up with. They have a lot of routes here in Colorado and other parts of the country. And I'll let you know how that goes. Um, other than that, not much is going on. Uh, Paperwork-wise, like I say, just getting set up with that other group. Um, one of the good things is the gasoline prices are coming down a little bit. But I have a feeling they're not going to stay down for long. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going on politically that could be really uh, changing the way business is done uh, with tax structures and stuff. So we'll see how that, that works out because it's going to start hurting the small businesses like this, you know, being an independent contractor. Uh, is pretty tough on its own now we have to possibly start paying out more taxes so get ready for that there's going to be some other things that are going to make it more uh, challenging because of the requirements they're starting to have for vehicles and trying to push this green new agenda thing and I don't know how it's going to work with this type of uh, industry because yeah there's cars, <laughs> but that's cars. They only have a few um, few vans and they're hybrids. Uh, the ones that they are putting out for full electric just don't have a range. Uh, it's not going to make sense. I don't know what they're going to do on that. Uh, they got to start getting stuff more pushed on the longer range EV vans before it makes sense and I can tell you one thing <laughs> just trying to find a used ICE based van that's reasonable in price has been a challenge you know they're really super high mileage on them they're falling apart they've been in wrecks uh, there is one I might be looking at that's a uh, Ford F-350 extended cargo van, maybe. But the problem with that, <laughs> the gas mileage is really bad on something like that. Uh, so this is one of the expenses you got to get ready for in this business is fuel costs. And of course, the older vehicles are going to need more maintenance and stuff like that. Uh, speaking of maintenance, I am going to be putting, hopefully, Putting on the uh, crank shaft position sensor, the, the one that's supposed to be the correct one. I got that. Uh, since I know where it's at, what I need to do, it hopefully it won't take as long. Uh, and do that tomorrow on Saturday. We'll see. <laughs> so right now, the big issues I'm having are more mechanical re uh, related and more acquisition of vehicles. Uh, starting to look at getting more heavy duty commercial insurance for that type of a vehicle. What's good about this type of thing I'm doing right now, it only requires you to have your standard automotive insurance because it's just a regular vehicle doing this and it falls in that range. 
uh, doing these little courier runs. So that that's one good thing about this type of work. Uh, but you still have costs, you know. So let's we'll see how that goes. Um, so probably I picked up about. I'm thinking maybe around 400 samples in total this week across all the stops. So I usually have, oh, throughout the week, I probably have about 60 stops overall. And uh, that's about 12 stops every night for the weeknight. So that, that's not too bad. I have not been getting any on calls for some reason. I think during the summertime, a, a lot of stuff, I mean, animals still have issues during the summer, but during the fall and winter, it starts picking up because they get sicker with, uh, west, uh, with the weather changes. So, um, other than that, not too much is going on. I see along my routes that there's a lot more road construction starting to pop up, so that's going to be an issue to deal with in the next couple weeks, getting more intense. Um, so, that's about it for tonight. Not too much to report. And uh, hope you guys have a great weekend. And I'll see you next week, which is the start of August. Bye.